Hey love, thanks for clicking this video. This is gonna be a Dolls Kill Try On Haul. It's actually my 17th Dolls Kill Try On Haul and I'm very excited about this one because they've got a lot of futuristic streetwear sexy looks right now on the site and a bunch of cool new styles. So without further ado, let's hop into the new video and cover look one. You need to be protecting your legacy, especially in times like these. This video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, a global men's lifestyle consumer brand and male grooming category creator. To help you guys out, Manscaped has a collection of anti-chafing, high-performance boxer briefs with both function and fashion in mind. I actually tried these on myself. I found that the fabric and structure is super supportive, which make them perfect for the gym. Sure, they look great, but the real secret of these bad boys is the jewel pouch design. It's time to throw out those old, tattered boxer shorts and free yourself from the dreaded tidy whities Did you know body odor can be caused by body hair? You need to trim those hedges, especially in those tough areas below the waist and keep your boys cool, hydrated, and smelling great all day long. Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer. The craftsmanship on the Lawnmower 4.0 is next level. The trimmer has these ceramic blades with skin safe technology. It's cordless and waterproof, so you can trim in the shower. Go to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code ABBYY20 at checkout. All right, our first look is from Poster Girl, and I'm really loving this, and the bottom comes separately. And I'm gonna be linking everything that I can for you in the description below, since some things go out of stock so quick and they sell out. I don't even know if everything is gonna still be able to be linked, because I got this package um, in January for a V-Day PR haul from Dolls Kill, but I'm just getting around to it now, shooting it in March because I've been kind of backed up with my hauls. But I did get some stuff that are kind of V-Day themed. Like this is pretty romantic V-Day vibes, I'd say. And then this little belt buckle here, they have some sparkly boots just like this. I think it might even be made to go together that matches this little belt design on the boots. They're so sparkly. So I have my eye on those because it would make a fire outfit. Imagine you make a cute outfit to go under this, put these jewelry things on top and those boots at a like country music festival. You're gonna be standing out, you're gonna be blinged out and everyone's gonna be having their eyes on you because how could you not be staring at this? And it's so fun too, like while you're walking, it's just moving around. I could see dancers, performers having a lot of fun with this. Let me know what you think in the comments, how you think I should style it. But 10 out of 10, Poster Girl, I always gravitate towards that specific genre with Dolls Kill. And I have a lot of really fun things to show you next. So next I'm gonna be showing you a really cool dress and styling it for you. So stick around for that. Oh, and by the way, I had to look at the model for how to do this top. If you get it, it's crisscross in the back. So make sure that you do do the crisscross. And I love the way that looks. It just makes it sit up better and fit properly. So make sure that you just take it off your shoulder, hook them to the sides and then throw them back on because it can be a little bit complicated out of the box. So they sent this cute little flyer with a Dolls Kill pink pen. I thought that was awesome. And before I show you this look, I wanted to show you this ashtray that I got. So it's pink with sparkles and see-through. Thought this was adorable. This is from the Dolls Home. So they have their own home line. So check that out. They got shower curtains, rugs, all kinds of different cool things. So definitely look and see if you can find something cute for your place. And let's go ahead and get into this look. So this dress is from Current Mood. I added in these cream gloves that I got in New York that have the fingers showing. So I thought that looked really cool together. And then the boots. So the gloves are supposed to match the boots. I got these at Goodwill. I think they're Airwalks if I'm saying that right. But I think that this outfit is like giving like Eskimo Queen and it's really unique. So this style, I've noticed girls on Instagram doing reels and styling this kind of fabric that's like cut out all over the place. It's very like urban street style, something new. And they're definitely playing a lot with fabrics right now in the streetwear styles. So I thought this dress was super cool. I got it in a size small and it is very short, but form fitting. So if I got a medium, I think that it would have been longer on me. 
but I definitely think that this dress is supposed to be super sexy. We have the one long piece covering, but then on the side, it's kind of showing a little bit of booty. So wherever I do wear this, definitely gonna be somewhere where it could be more scandalous, like a club or an event where we're dressing up sexy. Here's how it looks without the gloves. Snow girl queen in that. But yeah, I love how these are so like long and just how they're cut. It looks so high fashion. And then you just tie it up here at the top to adjust. So if you want it to be shorter or longer, I think that this would help in adjusting. And then we have a little tie right here and it gives really good cleavage. I just love this color and I love all the neutrals. Something that Kanye or Ye West made really popular is all these neutrals. So you definitely see this a lot in streetwear now. So let me know what you think of this look in the comments. And the next look that I got is super cool. So stick around for that. All right, for our next look, the top and the skirt are from Dolls Kill. And then I styled it with my own thigh high boots. So let's get into this skirt. so cool. So this is a mini skirt, which is all the rage right now on social media. And I haven't seen one like this yet, but it has this really giant belt design in the front, which is super cool. The back, it doesn't continue. It just has a little zipper and it shows a little bit of cheek. So it has a little pair of black shorts underneath. So that's what makes it a score is if there's shorts underneath and it goes up kind of high waisted. I'm so glad that I didn't get this in small and I did go ahead and trust my gut and get the medium because the small wouldn't have fit. So then the top, love this top so much. So it's tight enough where it has support. It gives a little bit of under boob and it's from Poster Girl and I got this in a size small. So I think you could probably wear it maybe like off the shoulder too, but I put it up and it's very like stretchy material. I like this O-ring design here in the middle. And then let me show you how the boots look. So I love the big O's. I think it goes together really well, the squirt and the top. And then here's the boots that are my own. These boots make any outfit look so sexy. So I really love how this came together because the black, it just looks so hot all together. And I posted pictures and this look on my OF and on my Patreon. So if you like this leathery look, then go check there. And you're not gonna be disappointed because I send out messages on OF, I chat on Patreon, and there's just a lot of fun content and you can get to know me better there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our next look on, which is a super unique dress. So this dress comes from Darker Waves, which is a newer brand on Dolls Kill. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It actually comes in a longer version as well, but it comes in two pieces. So you get this top turtleneck piece that has the sleeves and everything to go over the actual dress. And you can even cover your face like a ninja with this. Like how badass is that? Can't really talk that well, or you can bring it down here like the regular scrunched up turtleneck. Either way, it looks really, really fire. Here's the back. So it has the logo here in the middle, and then we've got a lot of really cool detailing, some ties on the side and showing some detail here on the side. So it's really sexy, super form fitting, and I got it in a size small. So I plan to style this with these boots that I got from Dolls Kill, which I will cover in a future haul. And definitely follow me on IG if you wanna see that fashion content. It's Abigail Joy XO. But you can also adjust this dress with these little ties on the side to make it higher up or longer down. I think it looks good right in the middle. And I love the hands on this. Super unique. Love the streetwear vibe of this. And I can't wait to take more content in this for my IG, my Patreon, and my OF. So definitely make sure you're subscribed there. And I'm gonna move on to our last look. All right, last but not least, we have this amazing Sugar Thrills lingerie bodysuit. I am thrilled with this. I think it looks so good on, and I decided to get it in a size medium because sometimes with lingerie, it can be tight on the bottom area. And I'm glad I did get a medium because it fits really well. It's not like super tight fabric. There is a little breathing room and you are able to adjust the straps. So it is a thong in the back. 
and I'm definitely going to be doing some content in this with the pasties removed on my OF and Patreon. So make sure you subscribe there to see that content in the future. And I also got these really cute clips from Delia's. So pretty with the green bodysuit. And I hope you loved this haul as much as I did. It was definitely one of my favorite Dolls Kill hauls because of the range of looks, but everything was really streetwear. But then I also had these girly romantic pieces like the bling one and this one here. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment, let me know where you're from. And I love you so much. I will see you in our next video. Bye.